Hello everyone, this is Nebigoin77 here, and welcome back for some more Let's Play Minecraft. So, last we left off, we went back into the nether real quick to regain a lot of our experience that we lost from having to enchant all of our stuff here, as well as farm a couple of more golden apples, because yes, those golden apples are indeed very, very useful, or even just farming regular apples so we can craft golden apples out of them, also really good. But uh, now uh, we're looking a little bit short on coal, so we need to go and explore some more caves and hopefully find some more coal and some more other goodies amongst them. Maybe even get real lucky and find some diamonds even. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that now. We're already setting out. I think I left my door open actually. Ah, whatever. This should be fine. I don't think uh, monsters are smart enough to go in my house and, and fuck everything up while I'm away. Like creepers, for example. Like I think, like they 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 only coming after the player, and they won't actually go after the player's stuff. The only things we have to worry about in that regard, I think, are just Endermen because they can teleport and stuff. But hey, look at that! Looking from the the tree that we chopped out in the previous episode has already yielded us a nice apple. So we'll just store the apple to the side there, real quick. Maybe chop some more of these trees down. Hopefully they'll give us some more apples. I mean, we're needing some more wood either way, so might as well. Oh, I'm going to chop down the last block up here. Come on, block. Come on now. There we go. All right, and we're off. Yes, we're off once again for another nice expedition. We got our map and our compass in hand, so we should be good for not getting lost. Like, even if we're not on the map displayed here, where it shows the coastline as well as the very corner where our house, our base is at, it'll still show us the direction where we headed off. So we can see that we're off on the northwest. So we'll, we should just, yeah, turn that way, as well as our compass pointing north that we should bring us back to our house. So we should be good on that. It's just trying to get to these caves again, hopefully find another cool cave system or something. Or well, something out here would be nice. I know I'm sounding a little impatient at the moment. But uh, you're just going to have to forgive me for that. I know I'm just as eager as anyone else to go off and find some epic loot and kill some monsters in the name of Kaz. <laughs> so yes, just uh, bear with me folks. We'll get it done. I'm just going to look for these damn caves wherever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is where the... I don't know. I don't think that the, the canyon is out here. It's got to be back this way somewhere. Mm -hmm. It's got to be back this way somewhere. I know we'll find it around here somewhere. Wait, is this it actually? No, it's not. Oh, well, wait, wait. Oh, it leads to another cave, but we've already... Yeah, right. That was the, that was the cave that led to a dead end. And all, all it had was just some copper. Yeah, not really good. Not really after. Copper is not really what I'm after. So we're just going to have to. We need to find that other. That other canyon area that we found. Oh, is it? it? I think we might have found it actually. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. No, wait. No, we've already been down here. You can see the torches that we placed from earlier. From before. Hey, but at least there's some coal here. So we'll be sure to dig some of this out if we can. Oh, we might not be able to actually. Oh, we just barely dig out the one block. <laughs> ah, fine. I have to go out this way then. There's some more lava there. I don't think dumping the water bucket on those will turn it to obsidian, though. I think it's those ones will just become uh, cobblestone. But here we go. Here we found it. We found it. Yes, this was the canyon I was talking about. Now this one we haven't been down before, so we're gonna. Be careful in making our descent here. Maybe make like a little, a little uh, stairway or something. Yeah, we'll put you there. There we go. Okay, we'll use our shovel for this. Here's how we're gonna do it, folks. We're gonna make this little sort of stairway leading down, and uh, and go down a bit more here. Or right, down to stone level. But uh, yeah, we should be good. Let's we'll just have to make this one longer here. There we go. Okay. 
we still got to be careful because, yep, that is still a very steep drop that will probably kill me in one hit from the fall damage. So, we got to be very careful coming down here. Let's see if we can break you down. Okay, uh, let's see if we can go down this way, actually. Let's see if we can go down this way over here. Yeah, be very careful making our descent. You never know what, uh, never know if these are actually the last blocks before the the huge fall down. So we're just making, we're going on all on this very cautiously. Okay, yes, very, very cautiously. I yeah, see even just falling down a little bit like that was still enough to take fall damage. So yes, yeah, not really, not very good. See if we can make ourselves a, yeah, make ourselves a bridge. Uh, oh, look at this. Look what we found here. It looks like a monster spawner. Now, these monster spawners here, obviously, they spawn monsters for us to kill. This, In this case, being a spider monster spawner. But usually, these monster spawners are indicated by these mossy cobblestone blocks here. Usually, when you see mossy cobblestone blocks like this here, it does indicate that there's a monster spawner nearby. So, we'll go ahead and dig out this monster spawner. Now, it might be beneficial to keep some monster spawners around if you want to, say, farm some enemies for their loot. But we're just going to get rid of this monster spawner here, as it does give you a good experience anyways. So, there is that too. But yeah, let's just have a look here. Uh, yep, mossy cobblestone. It's a very interesting block. But they're mostly found around dungeons. But hey, look at this here. Looks like we found some loot. Let's see what we got here. Ooh! Yes, a golden apple. We got some beetroot. It's a saddle. And some coal. Yes, excellent. Found a lot of string too, but that's probably because of all the spiders that were living in here. But hey, got some bread. Which is also good. Uh, but what's not so good is uh, because of this loot, our inventory is almost full. Let's go ahead and see what's in the other chest here. Ooh! Ooh! A diamond horse armor! Yes! I mean, we don't have any horses, so... Don't really have much of a use for that at the moment, but still... Really good. Really good. Oh, excuse me. Uh, uh. But yes, really good. Um, I guess we're just going to have to put you in there. Because, yep, god damn it, my inventory is already full. God damn it. Uh, at least we got all this nice stuff. So, I guess we have no choice now. But to head back, we can't even pick up any of this iron. See, yeah, well, I'm going to have to use up something in my inventory or something. God damn it. And you can see it's already starting to get dark too. Which is also not good. But hey, at least we're finally exploring this area. And uh, we, know we need to start heading back up now. Which was back up this way. Careful not to fall as we make our way back up. Yes, yes, careful not to fall. Because I would really hate to die from fall damage here. But even if we do die, I guess we can still get our stuff back. Since this is not too, too far away from our... From our base, but still. Okay, now we're going to place a marker here. Just like we did with the wooden pole markers. Make sure we build you nice and high. Uh, it's probably going to be about it. Yeah, yeah. Because we're going to take a bunch of fall damage here. Yep, not not so good. So we're going to use this. We're going to eat this bread as soon as the hunger starts wearing off. Or the hunger starts going down. There we go. Now we can eat it. Because I forgot to mention, if your hunger is completely full and you're not hungry at all, you actually cannot eat anything. Which I guess makes sense. You wouldn't want to eat anything on a full stomach after all when you've already been already been stuffed with food. So yeah, you know, it checks out. But either way, we're going to go ahead and eat this golden apple again. Give us a nice buff to our health. As well as the regeneration. That's why you see our hearts pulsating like that. Or doing like the little wave or whatever that was. It's just to indicate that we get rapid regeneration as well. But it only lasts for a few seconds. At least we got the couple of extra two hearts for now. So yeah, no. Zombies, just uh, never mind. Just go, keep on doing your own thing. Oh shit, no. You can never mind. Okay, no, we're getting out of here. We should be able to see that from that dirt marker that we placed. 
that we can better know where that canyon was. But we need to we need to head back to our base real quick to manage our inventory, record our findings, and yeah, all that good stuff. Damn! Look at all these zombies chasing me. Yeah, they're they're really gunning for my ass, aren't they? Well, thankfully for me, I'm uh, just gonna need to hide in my house and have a nice good night's rest, and we're good. Looks like we got to go to sleep in our bed before those zombies got too close to our house and made it so we couldn't sleep, which is nice. Yes, very nice. All right, now. Uh, put these guys in here this new saddle and horse armor well I guess will be useful for later on for when we do finally get a horse and tame a horse and all that good stuff where should I put the mossy cobblestone I guess we'll put it in here but yeah even we're just running out of space for all of our stuff in here which is yeah really not good but we're gonna just we're gonna have to make it work. Oh, I didn't even realize I was actually using up two slots for the bones. God damn it. Oh well. And for the beetroot, we could go ahead and make ourselves a beet farm, but we're pretty good with our farming for now. We already got the potato farm and the wheat farm now going on, so yeah, we should be good. Uh put you guys in there. And we'll store some more wood in there. And, uh, yeah, looking pretty good now. Oh, right, the, the spider eye. It's just, it's just right before I, I closed up the chest, I remembered about that. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and head back into that canyon again. Hopefully we'll find something good. Hopefully we'll find something good. Just ignore that stinky-ass rotten flesh. Yeah, nobody wants to eat that shit. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. It's... Yeah, I know. You really don't want to eat the rotten flesh. I think, if I remember correctly, you you actually have a higher, a less of a chance of getting sick by eating raw meat, like raw chicken meat or raw sheep meat, than actually eating the rotten flesh. So yeah, it just goes to show how useless it is. Yeah, you really don't want to eat the rotten flesh. It will. It's like a, a guarantee to make you sick, pretty much. At least, even if you eat rotten, even if you eat raw food like raw chicken, you only have a chance to get sick. So yeah, it's just another little lesson for all of y'all there. Don't eat the raw, don't eat the rotten flesh. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to make you forget. But uh, yeah, as you can see, thankfully, thanks to our our wooden mark or not our wood mark, our dirt marker that we placed. Yeah, using dirt markers now. I know, right? But yeah, thanks to our dirt marker we placed, you can already see where the canyon is. And head right back into it. Yes, right back into it, guys. That's what we're talking about right here. Yes, really good. There's ID number one. It's a bit of an odd name for a map, but I think that's probably what they're automatically named. So, whatever. Whatever, man. Let's see if we can chop down some more of these trees for some more apples if we can get lucky with the apples yes chop you down and we'll just let these leaves just break on their own automatically while we go down in this canyon and explore down here and all that good stuff now items when they're out floating freely like that they they will stay around but they will disappear eventually but they do stick around for quite a while before they do disappear it is still worthwhile to note that, especially if you lose all of you, if you die and lose all your stuff, that you do have to quickly go back to your stuff before it disappears. So yeah, there's just so yeah, just keep that in mind. Well, so we carefully make our way down here. Uh, let's see if we can make a, a safer drop down than this. Okay, we, can, if we should be good if we jump in the water. All right, in the water. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yeah, how very lucky of us to have this flow of water already here for us. But yes, going back down in the caves, baby. I know we haven't been down here yet. So let's go ahead and see what's down here for us. Hell, even if we can just find some coal would be nice since we are running low on it. Yeah, running low on the coal, so we've got to find some more. Oh, this might actually not even lead anywhere. Hold on now. Wait a minute. 
Where's all the good stuff at? Is this really it? Oh, well, that's disappointing. Unless there's something in this wall here. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it gets back up to the surface. God damn it, I was hoping that we get something good out of this. Well, at least now we know that there's nothing really good in here besides this little bit of coal. So we'll just dig this out and I guess just move on and hey, 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 where you got in? What the hell? Did you see that? The coal was trying to, was just flowing down the water here. It was like, it was like it was trying to get away from me or something. <laughs> it was, was kind of funny, but yeah. Uh, just silly things like that, man. It's what really does make the, was, it really is what makes this game so great, in my opinion. You know, not just being like a, a, a sandbox farming simulator, but you know, the silly things like that with the physics and the water and stuff. Yeah, speaking of physics, and the, the water physics in this is really odd. Like, you place down a bucket and the water will flow anywhere, but there's the, the only part of actual water was where you placed the bucket. Where the flowing water was. Which is pretty much how it works with farming obsidian too. With the lava and water. So yeah. Pretty weird. But uh. Yeah our home should be that away. Let's just have a look at our map here. Oh. Oh wait. Our, our, our icon doesn't even show on our map anymore. What? What the hell? I thought it was going to show on the map no matter where we are. Just in the corner. Well, that's not so good. Well, I think we should still be good. I mean, as long as we have our compass with us to tell us the general direction on where our, our home base is, we should be good. So with that being said, we're going to keep on pressing on here, keep on exploring. And, yep, yeah, kill Mr. Skeleton. And, yes, look at all this coal here. Well, we're going to ignore the copper because we need the coal more. Yes, more fuel, as well as, indeed, more experience. Even if it's not a lot of experience, it's still some experience, which is still better than nothing. But, ooh, looks like this actually leads somewhere. Hold on now. Hold up. Might actually be on to something now. Let's just have a quick look here. Yes, okay. I gotta watch out. Okay, that's pointed dripstone, so we'll just make this jump. Okay. All right, all right, all right. It was uh oh shit, my my helmet wore off. I just noticed that. Actually, you know what? Oh, oh, oh my god. Okay, okay. You know what? I was about to say let's use these ladders here, but we're also yeah we'll place some place some uh, wooden planks as well to help with the ladders. Okay, yeah, we're gonna place the ladders right here. Now, you can also use ladders to avoid taking fall damage, but you have to be very, very precise where, where you land on the ladders here. Uh, can you place another one? Oh, I don't think you can, actually. It has to be, it has to be along a wall. All right, I see. I'm going to get rid of that. Place another one of you. And, uh, oh, wait, does this, even, this doesn't even go anywhere, does it? Did I, I think I just used my ladders for nothing. Just to get a bit more copper and coal. Yeah, not so good. I mean, I guess we could always just dig down more and in hopes that we could find a cave, but I don't know. Yeah, what the hell. I guess we can do that. We'll just be sure to eat some more food. Top off on our health here. Because, yeah, I got to be careful. Okay. Let's see here. Um, we'll just dig out some more of this coal. And I guess we can go either down this way or down that way where we're digging our coal. But we're going we're gonna to place some more wooden blocks here. And I think we're going to need some more uh, ladders as well. Shit. Yeah, not very good. Yeah, not very good. Uh, see, I can't even, can't even reach the ladders from down here. Unless I build like this. Oh, wait. Oh, there's some more blocks here. I should be able to reach this now. Oh, wait. No, I can't. It's... Wait, really? you really telling me I can't reach this like this? Oh, I can. Okay, good. Yeah, you know what? We're going yeah, to place some more blocks here. Prevent us from taking all this fall damage like so. 
And I guess uh, we'll, yeah, we'll dig on this side here. We'll dig on this side. Uh, get rid of you. Hopefully we can find something, stumble upon some good caves here. Just got to be careful not to dig straight down, though, because you never know. What, how many, you never know what's going to be below the block that you're digging down. So, indeed, got to watch out for that. Okay. Hopefully we can find something good here. So, yeah, watching all the blocks uh, get dug out here. So we're getting a lot of cobblestone out of this. There's uh, actually almost too much cobblestone out of this. We're already two stacks full. Or one stack full. We're on our second second stack already. I uh, guess we can put you there. Hmm. Any caves? Anything at all? Oh, found some copper. Not really what I'm looking for, but okay. I'm just hoping to get lucky here, guys. Hopefully, hopefully to get lucky. Crossing my fingers here. Oh! Oh, just as I say, crossing my fingers, what do you know? Ran into some lapis. Well, I'll gladly take some of you guys here. Very nice. Got some more lapis lazuli. And, ah, here we go. Finding some coal and some iron. And, oh, oh, yes. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Now we're talking about some caves. Excellent. <coughs> oh. All right. Down here, be sure to get some more of this coal. And oh god, okay, nope. Let's not go down there straight away. Just, to, just keep getting this coal here. All right, how are we doing for coal? Almost at a full stack now. That's not really gonna matter since we're gonna need some more torches, anyways. Uh, we can make one more. There we go. And we're at a full stack of torches once again. But yeah, now that we're deep underground. Back to placing torches everywhere, yes. Back to the torch madness. Play a torch here, add a torch there, add a torch everywhere. Brighten up this place. Yes. Hello there, spider. Oh, shit, oh. Wait a minute. Oh, I think you're stuck. I think he's still hostile, he's just stuck. That's why he was still hurting me like that. So yeah, that probably explains that. Let's see what's down here. Yes, Let's see what's down here. Let's see if there's anything else good. Oh, it does lead somewhere. It leads somewhere, but where exactly? Uh, let's go ahead and place some cobblestone to act as a marker, just in case. Yep, yeah, just in case. So I'd really hate to get lost down in these caves down here. You never know what could happen. So we're playing it safe. Okay, we're getting deep. We're finding deep slates here. Now, there is a point to when you get so deep in this game where you'll eventually run into what's called bedrock. And bedrock is the strongest block in the game. It is unbreakable by anything. It is way stronger than obsidian. And it, there is always naturally a layer of bedrock at the very bottom of the world. And at roughly halfway to the bottom of the world, you'll start seeing this deep slate here. But once you get to the very bottom and start seeing the dead rock, or uh, the dead, the bedrock, you'll know. Because, yeah, bedrock is only on the very bottom. Although, I think they made an update a little while back where they make it so you can actually go below the bedrock layer. Although, there's literally nothing there. It's like, uh, below the bedrock is just literally the, the dark black void of nothingness. And yeah, and yes, you will die if you fall into it. Basically, like falling into a black hole, pretty much. So yeah, it's uh, really not good, and we'll try to avoid that when we come across that. Which probably won't be anytime soon, because you will have to find a gap in the bedrock layer for that to happen. So yes, it's, uh, it is pretty strange, though, that's for sure. Let's see what's down here. A lot of pointed dripstone. Yeah, let's get rid of some of this stuff because it's only going to hurt us even more if we fall on it. And I think my my knees and my legs and my feet have taken enough abuse as it is already. So yeah, we'll try to give them a bit of a saving grace. Okay, there's something to 
on the other side here, but it's on the other side of all this lava. Yes, all this lava. Let's see if we can dig out this deep slate. Yes, try to work our way around this lava if we can. Oh, what the what the fuck was that sound? Do you all hear that? What was that? Well, why is it so spooky all of a sudden? What the hell? Okay, well, you've still got the gold without it falling in the lava. Let's see if we can just inch a little bit closer. We should be able to pick this up before it falls into the lava here. Yes, yeah, get the golds. Ah, oh, damn it. I think some of it did fall in the lava, though. Ah, uh, whatever. Try to get as much gold as we can. Because, yes, getting the gold. I got the gold fever again. Yes. Yes, give me that gold. Give it to me now. All right, how much gold was that? 14, not bad. All right, but we still got to be careful. Try not to fall in this lava. And we did lose our our golden fire helmet, so we will take more fire damage from the lava because of that. So, yeah, I just got to be extra careful. We should be good to traverse this now. I don't think the lava, yeah, it's not flowing down there. So we should be good. All right, what's on the other side here, if there's anything at all? Oh, uh, come on. What's on the other side here? There better be something good. Come on. Where Where now? Well, it looks like it's just going back up towards the surface. We're going to place some torch towards. I don't like how it just goes up like that. There might be some creepers or some monsters that can very well just fall down here and completely fuck my shit up. So I don't like being in this spot right now. Let's see if we can quickly dig out here as fast as we can. Before any of that shit starts happening. Because yeah, literally all it takes is like one creeper to fall on top of me and it's GG's. So yeah, really not good. Let's place some more torches. Especially when we're trying to dig up towards wide open areas like this. It doesn't look like this area is going to be wide open. It's still going to look like it's going to be pretty uh, narrow. Like the more narrow passageways. So let's go ahead and see what's up with this real quick. Let's see what's up with this. All right. What's, what's going on up here? Oh, oh, some more gold. Yes. I like the gold. Give me the gold. Yes. Also notice that the gold that's embedded into the deep slate does take a little bit longer to mine than the gold that's in the regular stone. I think that, although I think that does apply with the... Uh, other minerals too, like the lapis, no, so not just the gold. Pretty cool attention to detail, though, you got to admit. But, uh, yeah, just got to keep on digging some more of this out, and we just reached level 20, which is good. Yes, getting all of our experience back. Let's go. Haha. -ha. Alright, but I already see that we're used up most of our torches, so you know what that means. Time to craft some more real quick. There we go. Damn, I feel so naked without my <laughs> without my golden helmet now. And I know that's funny to say because that's just literally just the golden helmet. You're like, how is that? How is that naked when you just lost your helmet? But just, 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 just don't question it. <laughs> We're just here to have fun. And uh, let's see. Uh, I think yeah, that might actually be the only way to head back out was the way I came through. So we'll keep on exploring down here, but. Okay, no, I was about to say that, but it doesn't look like it, because it's another dead end anyways. Alright, well, we should probably start heading back up now anyways. And that was going back through here, back through the lava, which was down here. Yeah, and hopefully let's not die while we're down here. That would really not be good. Oh yeah, so avoid the lava. Yeah, avoid it. Make our way through here. Careful not to dig out any of these any of these gravel blocks because they will come collapsing down if you do and will and will suffocate you to death if you're not careful so yeah that's really also really not good all right so we're back down here there's some more gold here dig this out real quick get some more gold and at least we're getting a lot of gold out of this as well as a lot of copper I guess this would be the ideal coal and gold mines here, because yeah, look at all this gold. 
Lacadora gold. Yes. Hell yeah. Getting more gold, baby. That's what I'm talking about. But it still goes down deeper on this part here. I really, I'm really liking the like these narrow passageways too on these caves. It's a really interesting way to generate these caves too, with all these narrow passageways that like, like, just go down like this. Pretty cool. All right, what do they have down here? Oh, it just keeps on going deeper and deeper, doesn't it? Oh damn. Okay, this is uh. Starting to become a little bit too much, but hey, at least there's some redstone here. Take this out real quick. Get some more expedience. And my inventory is pretty much full. Yep, yeah, no good. We'll eat a baked potato. Yes, very good. Be sure to add some seasoning to that while you're at it. Some salt and some pepper. Even though there is no salt and pepper in this game. Or maybe there is, it's just not like an item that you use. Who knows? But either way, I think, yeah, oh, just, just keeps on going this way, but I think, yeah, no, I think we're, I think we're pretty much done down here. I don't want to risk, I don't want to risk anything anymore. Don't want to get too risky with your, and too greedy with your findings. But they've gotten a lot of gold, so I think, I, we're pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy. Let's just head back up now, and... And hurry up, because I'm hearing more monsters that are out and about down here. Yes, not very really good. Let's so just head back up. And there's this gravel here, and where does this go exactly? Looks like it leads to another area, but it might just be another dead end. Some lava by the looks of it. Alright, let's just head back up here. Keep on jumping up. See, I like, like the little drops of water falling from the pointed dripstone here. The stalactites. It's pretty cool. I don't know if that's an indicator if there's water above that area or not, but either way, it's still pretty cool attention to detail, you have to admit. So while we make our way out here, we'll be sure to grab this iron. Because, yeah, always needing more iron. Might as well. Alright, got more of the iron. Our durability on our diamond pickaxe is starting to wear off a bit, but it's still up halfway there. It's still pretty good. So yeah, there's that. Uh, we're just heading back up this way. And uh, right, this is where I found the skeleton from earlier. I don't think there's much else down here. Well, we're going to have to wait to explore that part for another day, because yeah, it's just... Trying to make our way back out. Um, I kind of forgot where I'm supposed to go from here. Oh shit, well, was it this way? Well, I think it was. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, it was. Right, because I, I dug down here and I, I found the coal and stuff. Yes, here we are. There we go. Okay, we should be good now. Just climb back up this ladder. Come on. Oh, we gotta jump off this block. That's kind of annoying. Okay, come on. Let me on the ladder already. God damn you. Hey, I said let me on the ladder. Oh, uh, get up. Get up already. Okay, now we gotta figure our, out our way back up from here. Should be good. Don't mind me. We'll figure it out while we listen to this very nice, calm, and relaxing music as we make our way out. Yes. Yes, looks like we're going to make it out in one piece. And here's the surface. Excellent. Alright, so we got, yeah, we got a lot of coal out of that, got a lot of gold out of that. As well as a little bit of lapis and some redstone. Excellent. Alright. Let's see if those apples have spawned or anything. Too, while we're up here trees that have chopped down. I don't think they have disappeared by now, but uh, let's see. Okay, home should be in this direction, because that's north where the compass is pointing, so if we keep on heading this way, we should be good. It should be. Should be is the key word here. <laughs> Alright. Yes, good to be finally be able to breathe in the nice fresh air of the overworld once again. Yes, once again. 
Okay, yeah, this this has to be the direction back home because there's that there's that stone pillar that we placed from earlier. It would be nice to be able to dig out like stone and have it stay as stone instead of cobblestone, but I think you need a silk touch enchantment to be able to do that. So until then, it's still just working with cobblestone. Oh yeah, this is definitely the direction of the home here. Yep, we are definitely good. Yes. Especially with all this gold here. We got to the gold. Yes. See if we can get any other goodies with chopping down these trees here. Maybe some more apples, perhaps, would be nice. Let's see here. Yep, chop, chop you down. And should be able to make quick work with these leaves with this sword here. Should be able to get apples to spawn by breaking these manually as well. I don't see, I don't see a reason why you wouldn't. But uh, it doesn't look like much so far. Just some more saplings and, and twigs. Ah, come on. Where's all the apples at? Come on, man. I need the apples. Yes, the apples. I, as you know what they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Even though there are no doctors in Minecraft, but still. Pretty good. Ah, it doesn't look like I'm going to get anything out of this. Whatever. Fine. Let's just head back home then. We still did good. We still got a lot of good stuff. Maybe not the best, but still pretty good. Yes. Uh, let's see. Uh, these blocks are still floating here. Yeah, it doesn't look like it gave us any apples. Just some more sticks. Yeah, not very good. Oh, well. I mean, you win some, you lose some, right? It's just, it is what it is, I guess. So, we'll be sure to head back and... Oh, what the hell is going on here? It looks like a creeper has decided to take my boat without asking me. Ah, how very rude of you. You think you could just take my stuff? Huh? Yeah, that's what you get. Where's my boat? Give me my boat back. It's... Give me my boat back, damn it. Uh... Right, well, okay. We'll have to get rid of this andesite so I can get the boat. Oh, did I pick it up? Oh, I didn't. Right, give me the boat, not the andesite. There we go. Right, it's just a single block of andesite, so I don't care. Yeah, uh, just heading back to our, our home base now. Yes, back to home base. You know, didn't make like, jump on try and jump on these lily pads if we can here. Yeah, since there's so many of them. We we'll try and play a little fun little game here by jumping on these lily pads, acting as little tiny platforms. Yeah, it seems like a good way to improve on our parkour skills, if you ask me. But uh, yeah, no, we'll just we'll just swim back to our house. Ah, home sweet home. Good to be back again. Yes. Alright. I know I got some saplings, so we'll put you oh no I didn't. Uh but I did get some dripstone, so we'll put you guys away here. Dripstone block. More stone. Well, a lot more stone actually. As well as more deep slates. Or cobbled deep slate, if you will. And let's see, yeah, more strain, more, more bones, more bones for the schmones. It's, I'm sorry. It's, okay. Um. Uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Looking good. We're just gonna put some more of my precious gems away, and we should be good for today. Yes. Very nice. Get some more raw gold, but we're gonna make we're gonna be sure to make another golden apple here, of course. So there you go. Very nice. Aha. Okay. We're, we'll, just, we'll store away the golden apple for now though. So in you go. As we're looking pretty good for food at the moment. Still got more potatoes growing. Even though we are running low on meat, that's why I built those farms there, so I can still make more food. So, while we 
So, before we end it off, we'll have another nice baked potato in celebration of our victory. Yes. And, uh, yeah, pretty good. Oh, right, there's a bit of copper here. Just toss you in there. There we go. Okay. Speaking of which, yep, yeah, these should be done, done. And I guess we'll toss some more copper in the furnace while we end it off. Oh, wait, nope. There we go. Come here, copper. Come here. As well as more fuel, because the furnace is looking a little, looking a little low on the on the coal fuel right now. So yeah, back up to max. Very good. And yeah, that should be about it for today, everyone. So with that being said, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you like the video as well as the other ones I uploaded here, then don't forget to drop like, comment, and subscribe. As I upload videos almost every day, so be sure to hit that bell and get those juicy notifications. Be sure to stay tuned for next time. Get to some more. Let's play Minecraft. Yes. So finally, with that being said, this is Endemic Wayne 77 signing off. And as always, take care, everyone. Goodbye.